All right, I'll admit it. I was very skeptical about AI agents. I tried a few variations about a year ago and wasn't really impressed. They'd get stuck halfway, flood my terminal with logs, or just completely miss the point of the task I was giving them. It felt like I was doing more work trying to guide them than if I had just done the task myself. However, since everyone has been hyping them up lately, I decided to revisit them. And boy, was I wrong about writing off AI agents so quickly. So in this video, I will demonstrate how AI agents can enhance your productivity as a software engineer and explain why they should be an integral part of your engineering workflow. Hey folks, my name is Vitsav. I'm a software engineer based in Seattle with over 15 years of experience in big tech and startups. My goal with this channel is to provide mentorship to you to help you excel in your software engineering career. If that sounds interesting, consider subscribing and connect with me on Instagram, LinkedIn, or any other social media platform where I'll be happy to answer your questions directly. There are many coding agents available, but the one I've been trying out recently is Juni by JetBrains, and I've been quite impressed. JetBrains were also kind enough to sponsor this video. Juni is designed to integrate directly to your JetBrains IDE, understands your entire project structure, and can take on real development tasks, not just autocomplete suggestions. And the best way to demonstrate the power of AI coding agents and Juni in particular is to actually work on a real project. However, before I show you that, let me provide some context on the project that I was actually trying to build. See, I read a lot of articles, sometimes out of curiosity and for my own learning and other times for research for my YouTube videos. And one thing I often do is save snippets from various articles, like specific paragraphs or quotes that I find helpful and I want to revisit later. Currently, I manually copy and paste those into my Notion database. It works, but it's clunky, and I've been meaning to build a browser extension to automate this for a while. You know, one that lets me highlight any text on any web page, click a button, and then have that snippet along with the page URL, timestamp, sent directly to my Notion database. But like with most side project ideas, it has been sitting in the backlog for a while now because realistically, it would take me a few days to build. And with everything else on my plate right now, I just never got around to building it. So I thought, why not try building it with the help of a coding agent? So let's start from the top. What exactly is an AI agent? At a very high level, an AI agent is a system that can take a goal, plan the steps needed to achieve it, and then execute those steps, ideally with minimal supervision. It's not just answering a question or generating a snippet. It's about reasoning, planning, and executing. There are several types of AI agents, including reactive agents, model-based agents, goal-based agents, utility-based agents, and learning agent. Each obviously has its own benefit, but the highest return on investment and the most immediate impact I've personally seen, especially for software engineers, has been through coding agents, which can be classified as model-based reflex agents. Because let's be real, our time often gets eaten up by small repetitive tasks. Writing boilerplate code, wiring up CRUD APIs, refactoring legacy code, writing tests, setting up scaffolding, so on and so forth. These are all important, but they're not always the best use of our focus and energy. And this is where AI coding agents shine. They can take those tasks, understand the context of your code base, and get them done while you can stay focused at deeper design and architectural decisions. So the first thing I needed were a set of requirements. So I fired up WebStorm and created a requirements file that lists what I'm trying to build. Create a browser extension for Chrome or Edge that allows me to select text on any web page and sync it to a Notion database. Here are the specific requirements for the extension. Capture the selected text, page URL, and the timestamp that will map to the content URL and date capture properties on my Notion database. Send this data to the Notion database using their API. When the extension is first installed, it should ask me to log in to my Notion account and select a database to sync to. The extension should also allow me to specify a project name, which will map to the project property in the Notion database. The project name can be changed at any time by clicking on the extension. Any subsequent text selection 
name should map to that project name. Keep the code modular and testable. Create a readme.md file that explains how to install and use this extension. Okay, with that in place, I provided the requirements.md file to Juni and asked it to create the entire project for me. Juni then scanned the project, parsed the requirements, and generated a detailed plan outlining each step it would take. Building the manifest, wiring up the content script to capture the snippet, creating a background script to handle API requests, and then setting up the Notion integration logic. I quickly reviewed the plan and it looked good to me, so I let it proceed. From there, it started implementing the project structure. It scaffolded the manifest file, generated the code for the content and the background scripts, and created all the functions for handling the Notion API calls. And a few minutes later, the project was ready. I will be honest, at this point, I was still a bit skeptical. I was expecting a bunch of errors and a lot of manual adjustments that I would have to do to make it work. So hesitantly, I reviewed the readme file, which provided very clear instructions on how to integrate my Notion database, not just for the extension, but also on the Notion side. I followed the instructions, which asked me to create a Notion database, set up an integration connection, and then provide the key and my database ID to the extension that we just created. Then it was time to test it out. I visited wired.com and copied some text. To my surprise, it worked exactly how I specified in the requirements. Not only that, the code was modular, had good separation of concerns, and was very well commented. So if I wanted to make further tweaks, it would have been relatively easy to do so. So basically, in just one session, Juni helped me transform an idea that had been sitting on my backlog for months now into a fully functional product. Clearly understood the requirements, broke the task into manageable steps, scaffolded the code base, wrote the necessary scripts, integrated with an external API, and generated testable modular code, all while giving me complete visibility and control throughout the process. And it's not just about the speed at which it managed to do so. It's about the quality, consistency, and autonomy while still keeping me in the driver's seat. Later, I also tried a few other implementations on an existing project and it stuck to my coding style. And with every change it made, it also ensured that my project was building, it was green and in a stable state. So needless to say, I was genuinely impressed. Juni is available on JetBrains IDs like IntelliJ, WebStorm, PyCharm, and it is also available on GitHub in early access for async mode, where you can work with it through pull requests. Once you have a task on GitHub, you install Juni to your repository, mention it in the comments, and it will do the same as in your ID, but in async mode. That way, you can run multiple more complex tasks at the same time while you keep working on your ID. So if you'd like to take Juni for a spin, whether it's within your ID or GitHub or both, I will leave the link in the description below. Okay, so what does all this mean? Well, AI agents aren't just a buzzword anymore. They're starting to take shape in very real and practical ways, especially when they're built for specific domains like coding. And let me also address the elephant in the room. No, AI agents aren't there to replace developers, nor are they just some form of magic wands. What they are are capable, context-aware coding partners that can take real tasks off your plate help you move faster and give you back the headspace to focus on the bigger picture. And that's essentially where the future of AI agents gets interesting. It's not about outsourcing thinking, it's about reducing friction, removing the repetitive parts and helping you get into a state of flow more easily and stay there longer. In a future video, I'll discuss some more advanced topics around AI agents like agentic AI architectures and orchestration within the context of distributed systems. But for now, I just wanted to show you an example of how you can utilize AI coding agents like Juni to supercharge your engineering productivity. Let me know in the comments, uh, what would you build with an agent like this? Or are you already using AI agents to build some cool stuff? If so, how? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel and watching some of these other videos that I think you'll enjoy as well. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.